Unfortunately, I've noticed many new students in America not familiar at all with credit cards. And this starts you out as a big disadvantage without any credit history. You see, when new students come to America, you're kind of considered credit invisible because underwriters can't access your international credit history. And even if you had good credit score, good credit history in your home country, this is a struggle for accomplishing basic tasks like renting an apartment, getting a loan, getting a cell phone plan, a house, a car, things like that because many things here in America require a credit score and a credit history. In this video, I wanna help you guys understand things like credit history, credit score, and what are some of the best credit cards here in America, especially for international students, and even without a social security number. Also, I wanna share with you guys about Nova Credit, a special service for international students to get your first credit card here in America, which is super easy. Nova Credit helps newcomers and global citizens apply for financial services like credit cards using their international credit history. So you get a head start on your credit score and I'll show you how easy it is to apply. Check it out. Hey friends, welcome to Chai and Coaching. I'm Rob, and I love helping people be successful in their cross-cultural journeys, and even navigating these difficult, challenging things like finances, credit score, credit history, especially for international students. So I wanna kinda unpack these things, give you some tips, and help you guys get pointed in the right direction. But first, we're gonna talk about the importance of credit cards because sometimes there's some negative views or stigmas. People think that credit cards and debt is bad, and in some ways it can be, especially if it's abused or not managed well. But credit cards are probably some of the most common ways payment is done here in America. I use my credit card every day, in person, online. I don't really use cash or write checks or use my debit cards anymore. Most people just use credit cards all the time for all their payments. Here in America, Credit cards is what's gonna help build your credit history, and that's what's gonna give you access to things in life because your credit history is what determines your credit score. And that's gonna help you with things like getting loans and big purchases because your credit history and your credit score is gonna determine if you're a trustworthy person. And also, credit cards can actually give back a little bit to you too with things like cash back, perks, benefits, rewards, discounts, and sign-up bonuses. So that'll be really fun to learn about. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about building your credit history and your credit score. Because remember, when you guys come here, you don't start with a credit history, it's zero. It's a blank slate. And so you need to get a credit history that's built up and a score that's in the high 600s, 700s is ideal, and over 800 is just amazing. Your credit score is important for adulting in America. It shows how credit worthy you are. And there's three big credit bureaus here in America that track your credit score and your credit history. And those are Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And you can set up accounts and use those and they have great tools as well you guys can check out. But again, for renting apartments, buying a home, buying a car, you need a good credit score from your credit history. A very common question I get is, are social security numbers required for getting a credit card? And the answer is yes and no. There are options for credit cards with and without a social security number. So don't worry. And if you're an international student, the easiest way to get a social security number is through getting an on-campus job or an internship. And that's gonna help generate a social security number for you. And as a new student, you can apply for credit cards with Nova Credit, whether or not you have a social security number. All right, I wanna guide you guys in some of the best first credit cards, especially for students. Thankfully, with Nova Credit, credit cards are easy to get. You can start building your credit history and even get some fun perks for you as well. And the very first credit card we're gonna look at is the Blue Cash Everyday Card from American Express. This one is highly recommended, a great starter card for students. And I'm actually gonna read a little bit more directly from my notes because there's a lot of numbers and details I wanna get exactly right for you guys. So bear with me when I do that, okay? This one is great because it has a high credit limit, which is really hard to get usually for new students and a starter credit card. And the really cool thing is you earn a $200 statement credit after you spend $2,000 within the first six months. So you really only need to spend a little over $300 a month to qualify for that. So you're gonna get $200 just for using the card. That's it. Who would not like an extra $200? That can help pay your rent, maybe get some furniture for your apartment, or use it for a fun road trip here in America. And now we're gonna check out some of the cool cashback perks that you get 
with this card as well. The first one is that there's actually 3% cash back at supermarkets and grocery stores. That's amazing and really nice with inflation going up right now. You get 2% cash back at gas stations and select US department stores. Again, nice as well because gas prices are a little more expensive. And you get 1% cash back on all other purchases. Cash back is received in the form of reward dollars that can be easily redeemed for statement credits. There's no social security number required, so it's student friendly. And there's also no annual fees, which is awesome because lots of credit cards have an annual fee. One of the big benefits is car rental loss and damage insurance when you rent out rental cars. This is really good because car insurance rentals can actually be pretty expensive. It also comes with fraud protection. because another big thing with credit cards is fraud. And so when maybe a website or someone, you know, tries to use your card in a fraudulent way, you're gonna be protected and whenever those charges happen, you're not gonna be responsible for those. There's a really low intro APR of 0% for the first 15 months on purchases from the date of the account opening, and then a variable rate, which is 13.99% to 23.99%. And lastly, did I mention a $200 statement credit bonus after spending $2,000 those first six months? So go take advantage of that free $200. So when you look on the Nova site, you're gonna see that there's lots of great credit card options. But one more I wanna specifically highlight that's really good for international students is the Deserve EDU MasterCard. With this one, you're gonna receive a one-year subscription to Amazon Prime Student, and that comes when you spend $500 in the first three billion cycles or the first three months. You're gonna get 1% cash back on all purchases. You're gonna feel secure with cell phone protection up to $600. Again, no SSN is required for this one as well, so international students can apply. No deposit, no annual fee, and no international transaction fees. So you can feel great when you travel abroad and be confident that you're not gonna be charged extra with those purchases. So I know you guys are getting excited, so let's talk about how to sign up. So you're gonna look down in the video description or in the comments and you'll see a link for the sign up, and that's the link you're gonna to click. Once you've clicked that link, input your email address and then you're gonna click see credit cards. So if Nova is able to successfully pull your international credit history, you're gonna avail a $50 Amazon gift card offer for students. Woohoo, another bonus. And that email you input is where they're gonna send that $50 Amazon gift card. After clicking on see credit cards, you're gonna be taken to an amazing list on the credit cards for newcomers page. So you're gonna search for the best credit card using the filters on the left side. For example, things like is an SSN required, annual fees, is a deposit required, rewards categories, plus more filtering options. Click on the blue read more on cards to see details about the card offerings, terms, and perks. And then you're gonna click on the big blue apply now once you've selected the right card for you to start the application process. And thankfully that's gonna be easy too. For an example, I'm gonna show you the process with the American Express Blue Cash Everyday Card because it's a top option you should really consider. This is where you're gonna put in your basic info. Filling the form online and getting a decision should be a very quick process for you. And if you don't have a US social security number, again, don't worry. You're gonna check that box stating, I don't have a credit history in the US, but have a credit card or loan in, and then your country of home origin is gonna be listed there. So don't worry, if no SSN, you're still eligible. After the SSN, it's gonna ask you about your total annual income. And this is where you're gonna put in your total amount on your I-20. Again, the total annual income will be your total I-20 funding amount. Just put that in there. And then after submitting the American Express Blue Cash Everyday Credit Card application, there's gonna be some follow-up questions around identity verifications. So keep a lookout for those as well. To help you out even more, we have a link for a PDF with a helpful detailed guide for filling out the short online application if you guys have any questions. Again, you're gonna find that link below. Super helpful, super easy. Remember that Nova is gonna translate your home credit score into a US equivalent score using Nova Credit for free without hurting your credit score. And if Nova successfully pulls your credit history, you're gonna get a $50 Amazon gift card within the month and a $200 American Express statement credit if you spend 2,000 in the first six months on your MX card. In total, that's like a $250 bonus. Cheers to that. My friends, if this video has been helpful, please go ahead and give a like to say thanks and share that you're getting some value. And our chai question in this video is, what is your favorite credit card? There are so many credit cards out there with different advantages, perks, bonuses, and cash back. So yeah, let us know in the comments what's your favorite credit card to use. A couple important things also you need to remember with credit cards is security and benefits. Things like identity fraud and credit card theft are real risks. 
So you need to be very careful with your information. You should never share your social security number or personal details with strangers. With American credit cards, we don't have PIN numbers. There isn't as much of that two-step verification or one-time passwords. Sometimes we swipe and we don't even sign. So you have to be very careful about who you share that information with. And you can utilize those three credit bureaus to track your credit score, credit history, and any fraudulent activity going on. It's super important to pay on time and don't get trapped in debt. When you use credit cards wisely, they work for you. But if you're sloppy or just pay and you know don't have the money in your account to you know pay those things off, you can get into a really financial trouble. So make sure you're using them wisely. But when you do, there's awesome things like cash back, discounts, upgrades, free hotel stays, sign up referral bonuses, free flights. And so you get great rewards when you wisely use your credit card. By signing up through our link, and if you choose the American Express Blue Cash Everyday Card and are approved, you're gonna be getting a total of a $250 sign-up bonus. And I really want you guys to get hooked up with that. Again, that's a $50 Amazon gift card from a successful credit history transfer and $200 for spending $2,000 in those first six months back onto your statement. Remember that Nova Credit partners with US credit card companies such as American Express that the banks will also accept your translated credit score from your home countries, which is amazing because that gives you that credit history and credit score head start here in America. So to find the best credit card for you and start building your credit card history, click the link in the video description or also in the comments to sign up super fast today. I really hope that you're gonna be more confident and educated now to understand things like credit score and credit history. And I really hope you find that first great credit card for you as well. And to keep helping you, please be a part of the Chai and Coaching community. We wanna keep serving you, so be subscribed to our newsletter for updates, tips, events, and also connect with us online on social media like Instagram. My friends, thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time at Chai and Coaching. Cheers.